Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Functional Beauty with Alicia Larie. If you don't already know, I'm Alicia and I'm a blogger over at alicialarie.com. I do all kinds of home decor, home organization over there. I'm also a mother to uh, three kids, three dogs, and a whole lot of plants. So if you like content like home decor, home organization, and cleaning motivation, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and stick around. You can also go follow me on Instagram at Alicia Larie. I'm trying to build my community over there as well. Today we are going to be doing six crock pot meals. We're gonna prep them and get them ready so that all we have to do is take out the baggie and dump it in our crock pot every day. And this is gonna make my days so much easier. So I have six recipes that I'm gonna share with you and share also how I prep them for the week. At first, I just kind of jumped straight in and started kind of separating out my ingredients for each meal. I looked up a bunch of recipes on Pinterest and TikTok, so I literally just had either videos or a recipe randomly on my Pinterest. So after doing this whole process, I realized that it was easier to write out each recipe on a piece of paper and set them by the individual ingredients for each meal. That way it's all separated out and it's really easy to just grab each meal and dump it into the bag. So here are my six meals lined up and ready to go into the baggies. It's so funny what we get excited about as adults, but I was so excited about getting these baggy sand holders. So you just connect your baggy to the top of these and you can see they're adjustable and it holds your baggie open for you so that you can dump all your ingredients in. And this made all of the difference when making these crock pot meals because like, we, like I said, we're gonna be prepping these to be able to put in the fridge or the freezer and then you can just take it out in the morning and dump it into your crock pot and it makes it so so simple so you can see me putting the baggies on the, these are just i mean genius i will just mention that before you put your baggies on these stands you might want to write in permanent marker what each meal is going to be i actually forgot to do this so i had to take them all off and write on them and then put them back on but uh, just it makes it a lot easier to write on them beforehand. So I'm gonna first start out by taking this ground turkey and defrosting it so that we can brown it. This is for a taco soup recipe and that's the only one the only meat that really needs to be cooked beforehand. So we're gonna get that started and our first actual meal that we're gonna be putting together is cracked chicken. Now this is one of my favorite crock pot recipes. I make it literally like every single week and it is so good. If you want any of the full details on how to make these and the measurements and all of that, obviously you can watch what I'm doing here, but I will have it all written out on my blog at alicialarie.com. I will have that linked in my description below and you can go over there and check that out. So here you can see I realized I need to write all my baggies first. So I just wrote what the crock pot meal was and I also wrote if I needed to add anything. There were some ingredients I just felt like I didn't want to add into the bag. So if there's anything that you don't feel like you want to add into the bag but want to add afterwards, I know that makes it a little extra step when you throw it into the crock pot in the morning. but. 
it's really easy. So for like one of mine, I put, I need to add a block of cream cheese and that's not that difficult. So you just dump it in the crock pot and then add whatever. So uh, that's what I did and it's gonna make it really simple. And now that I have all of these recipes written out, I can reuse them. So I'm excited. So this next one is called Marry Me Chicken. A lot of these recipes I've never actually tried. So I've never tried this one. I think we're going to be eating that one soon and I'm really excited to try it. After you get all the ingredients in your baggie, you just want to kind of mix it around to make sure it's all mixed up. And then this next recipe that I have is a teriyaki chicken. This one's super simple and only really has like four ingredients. So I'm just cubing up my chicken and then we're going to add everything to the bag. Next up we have chicken buffalo sliders and this one's actually in my crock pot as we speak and this one's also really simple literally just chicken breast and uh, the red uh, Frank's red hot wing sauce and a package of ranch seasonings. Next up we have a pork chop recipe and I'm not gonna lie this one does not look super appetizing in the bag none of them really do but you know it's about things being easy and simple we as moms have so much to do I have three kids three dogs I have my blog I have my social media I have all of these things that I need to do and I also have a house to keep clean so I don't always have time to cook a homemade meal so this gives us a homemade meal but much simpler so I just take you know an hour at night to throw these together put them in the fridge or the freezer and then I can just dump them in the crock pot the next day so this just really simplifies my life and I'm excited to do this this is actually the first time I've ever done this type of prepping so this next one we have taco soup and we have had this one before this one is a, such a delicious recipe but I am going to have to add I'm adding most of the ingredients into this bag but I'm gonna have to add a block of cream cheese and a cup of yogurt I didn't feel like I wanted to add those but again those are just simple things I can put in there instead of needing to put all of the ingredients in there or to cook the meat and throw it in there.
And we are done prepping these meals. We have six really easy crock pot meals that we have prepared and ready to go for the week. I'm really excited about this. This is so good for anyone, your busy mom, uh, some maybe someone who's having a baby or a surgery. It just simplifies life so much to have these ready to go. And I love trying new crock pot recipes. So I'm excited to try all of these. If you want the full list of recipes and ingredients, make sure that you go check it out on my blog at alishalarie.com. It is linked in the description box below. I'm not usually the one who acts out. All those crazy little things we all kind of dream about. A good thing we are running out of sunlight. It's not necessary for right here one or a few on there man did you see me though if you ever want to follow me on any other social media platform it's always at alicia Lurie. see you guys in the next one